What's going on guys, it's your boy Morals tuning out today. We're gonna be checking out Homicide by Logic and Eminem. Now, I know I'm late. I know this came out a few days ago. I'm sorry, like, it's, I, I had finals this week. Like, you know, my classes are weird. Like, all my finals were this week and then like everybody else's is like this, you know, starting tomorrow. So, I was doing that all week. It was stressful and I, and, and I really wanted to do this. And I also didn't have my tripod. Forget the excuses. Um, We're gonna be checking out this song and from what I hear, it's, it's like a really good song and apparently these guys snapped on it, which, I mean, what else would you expect from these two rappers who are, are lyrical as hell? So, um, yeah, we're gonna check out Homicide, and I don't know, hopefully this will give us more um, more of an idea of how, uh, what's it called, what, what the hell is this? I'm fetching of a dangerous mind. Hopefully it gives us, you know, more of an idea of how that's gonna sound, but anyways, enough talk. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Homicide. Son, you know why you the greatest alive? Why, Dad? Because you came out of my balls, nigga. <laughs> All right, so that's definitely um, that's one way to start a song. Fuck rap, bust like an addict with a semi-automatic. Who'd have had it? Anybody for anybody to buck back? Hold on, catch a vibe. Ain't no way you're we leaving nobody alive. Even suicide, no fuck that. I'm feeling like I'm chicken, 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 slim shady with rabies. I'm coming at the mouth. Ain't nobody. Damn. All right. All right. All right. So I, I see what direction this is going in. Um, some rapidy rap. I'm gonna pull up the lyrics because like. I don't want to miss anything, and I know like everybody's heard this song already, so I don't want to, I don't want to look stupid not knowing what they're saying. So uh, let me pull that up. Uh... Because not a single one of you motherfuckers impressed me, and maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I'm full of innovation and I'm tired of. That sounds like um, that sounds like uh, who does that sound like, man? I don't know. I I think that reminds me of Hoodie Allen, but I don't know. Probably be hosting some comedy bros and just talking my shit because it's very explosive. They want to control us, like remote controllers. I pull out the guns that get me a holster. I don't know, man. That little flow sounds familiar. I know it's not Hoodie Allen specific, but that's who, that's the first person I thought of when I heard that. That's it's crazy, but shit, it's popping off. Should a single one of you motherfuckers even rap shit? Notice in a diss to the game, there's a gap. Can a single one of you motherfuckers even rap? For real, man, like, there's so many critics out there. It's like, what do you know about writing, like, you know, creative, um, you know, content, songs? that are truthful to you, you know, expressing yourself, like, can you guys even do that, you know? So it's like, who are you to judge, you know? I don't know, I, I feel like you should either have like some background, some knowledge about hip hop or um, be involved with it or just um, have more uh, credibility, if that makes sense. So yeah, yeah, Bobby Boy, he defending himself. Man, like this can be good for my health. When I rap like this, do I sound like shit? Well, it don't really matter because I'm killing it. Holy shit. I'm trying to stop cussing. I'm trying to stop cussing, man. I I'm sorry, but I really am. Um, well, just as much, but uh, okay. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, like, but these flows are reminding me of other rappers. Like, um, you know, when he's talking about, um, shit, where is it? Oh, when he when he had like that nasally voice, it reminded me of um, reminded me of JID because you know how he has like that weird voice and he like changes the pitch, whatever. That's what it reminded me of. But um, is it just me? Like, do you guys hear this stuff too, or like, what? Wait, am I just am I crazy, bro? Yeah, there's a time and a place, but if you ain't coming with the illness of rap, call it yourself the greatest alive, then you don't deserve to do that. I'm gonna make Bobby Boy snap, Bobby Boy fuck rap, bust like an addict with a semi-automatic. <laughs> Like Jay Z, jiggas up, you fuckers who didn't write anything. You're getting washed like a ticket, ticket, like baby. Over like A Rod in a month low, but he just homered. Hold up, I said Rover because now your Rover is red, like Red Rover, so you know what I meant. But I wrote over my opponents instead. Hold up, bro. Can we just acknowledge the fact that Logic and Eminem are on the same song together? Like, I'm a Logic fan. I'm not too much of an Eminem fan, but I do respect him. Um, I feel like there's there, there's been like a little bit of tension between like white rappers, like without you know, there's not necessarily anything like. That they've been like, they haven't been like beefing with each other, but I feel like there's a little bit of tension. I don't know, man. Eminem is doing his thing though. He's, uh, I mean, obviously he's keeping up with Logic. I feel like Logic, Logic has to keep up with Eminem, but. Being a cell phone, I'm a chicken scratch on my cell phone. I don't want to fucking listen to you, bitch, rap someone else wrote. Used to get beat up, but. I don't want to fucking listen to you spit your rap someone else wrote. That's some shit. I'm rich, I wipe my ass with six mil Big bills like a platypus, a caterpillar's coming to get the cannabis I'm looking for the smoke, but you motherfuckers are scattering, battering everything And I've had it with the inadequate man Woo, that was clean Caterpillar's coming to get the cannabis, I'm looking for the smoke, but you motherfuckers can't scare <laughs> ah. I'm attracted, I'm attacking it, 
like what Dracula? Fuck that shit. I'm up back with a thud. Man, stop. Look what I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Doing all this while you're panicking. And you're looking and staring at mannequins. And I'm going. Bro. Panicking, trying to get up a planikins. That's how I sound when I was trying to rap the. <laughs> I was trying to recite his lyrics. I'm in a cabana and a chant. I'm in a cabana and a chant. All this stand up banner. I'm not trying to listen to this, bro. That brother's coming to get the cannabis. I'm looking for the smoke, but you motherfuckers are scattered and better than ever. Then I had it with them. I had a man. I see my thing stand on sale. I'm like, man, again. Shit's hard, bro. I mean, clearly it's dope. Clearly it's like lyrical and like kind of like calling people out, but not really. They're just like talking about um, maybe the, uh, the environment of hip hop, the culture, or the. They're just talking about hip hop in general right now. So I think it's dope. I think these guys, you know, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think. They're gonna drop any new music, you know, together anytime soon. But um, that would re that'd be really dope to hear these guys, um, you know, collaborate again. I'm just excited for this album. I know it's gonna be one of the best ones, you know, to come out this year. And you know, that's I'm not even like over. I'm not even trying to like over exaggerate or over hype it. But I just have a really good feeling. Let me know what you guys think about the song down in the comment section below. If you enjoy my reaction, make sure you click subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, I'm out. Feeling like TK Cause I'm about to catch a fucking case With this fucking bass Damn it, this shit's so lit, yeah